pleased to be here because I love to share my experience of Norway, which is why I eventually wrote the book. Um, for most people, cold weather is what comes to mind when they think of Norway. And what I wanted to portray or paint a different picture was that it's more than cold, a country of cold weather. Uh, and it's more than cold weather. It's um, the people that I've met and still know over a long period of time um, are very warm. And my experiences outside our circle of friends has also proven that. Um, so that was part. Of, that was the idea behind the, the title: "Beyond the Cold" and a warm portrait of Norway. Um, and what's also unique about the book is that there's a lot of books out there by, that are autobiographical or travel type essays where someone's adopted, the author's adopted a country. Um, Peter Mal's Year in Provence comes to mind, but um, what's different is he made several trips prior to that trip where he decided, I'm going to spend a year in Provence. But we have no idea what influenced him to make that decision. And he's writing from an adult perspective. Um, Bill Bryson is another one um, who was really appealing because of his humor, and he lived along several years in Europe, but did not necessarily give us a, a, a look at some of the culture. Um, what's different about here is that the first time I was in Norway was as a child, in 1969 and 70, um, when I was 11. So, and then I went back as an adult several times now. Um, so you're seeing a, a portrayal from both a child's eyes and memories as well as an adult commentary and humor and reflecting back on that year. Um, so uh, I thought that made, makes it different and is, is um, very special. Um, I bet you don't like all this mild weather. <laughs> well, it was just cold enough so I could wear the sweater today. <laughs> um, so, uh, as Mary was, was explaining, my father was stationed in Norway after the war to help re rebuild the country. And he fell in love with Norway and vowed when he had a family, he would bring them to Norway. Uh, became a professor of sociology and social psychology at Temple and in 69 and 70 got a sabbatical and fulfilled this promise of bringing us to Norway. Um, maybe a few years off, but I don't, I don't know when we'll be taking my kids there too. <laughs> That'll be the sequel to the book. Um, but you're gonna, I'm gonna give you a, a brief trip through Norway. Um, you'll be, I'll go to the map over here. It's like, two images of Norway here, and you might be able to see all the arrows type of where I was. Um, this is Bergen on the west coast, which is closer to Europe, and Oslo is on the east coast. Um, so I'll be showing you different ways that I went from Oslo to Bergen. Um, we're going to go above the Arctic Circle, which is around here, and above the Arctic Circle into the Lofoten Islands, as well as seeing the capital city of Oslo. You went as far as the Arctic Circle? Above the Arctic Circle to Stamsen in the Lofoten Island, which is a group of islands. These are a group of islands out here. Um, and you went farther than I did. Stamsen's in here. Stamsen's here. 